What does it mean, philosophy? As a Muslim, I love Islam, but I also love Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, and Christianity. I love to celebrate Eid, but I also love to celebrate Durga Puja, Motu Purnama, Rosh Hashanah, and Christmas. Let's at least love to create a world without terrorism. I love that philosophy. I do. Chapter 3. Terror in Washington. I love France, but I've never been a fan of Charlie Hebdo. The French satirical newspaper that published a series of cartoons, The Prophet Muhammad. But I switched my position during my brief visit to the Voice of America building in Washington, D.C. on January 7, 2015. My father and I left New York for D.C. at 5 a.m. I was scheduled to be interviewed by VOA at 11 a.m. But we arrived at the Capitol some 30 minutes late. My heart raced and my dad parked his car in front of the Smithsonian Museum. Wondering whether Sabrina Dona would still be waiting for us, my dad ran towards the VOA elevator, carrying me on his shoulder. The security officers stopped us and asked us to go to the metal detector. As we were complying with this request, I noticed that many of the guards were staring at us. Then, when they were searching my body, I realized that something was wrong. My eyes turned to a TV monitor that was on the wall to the metal detector, or adjacent to the metal detector. Saw two terrorists, Brother Side and Sheriff Kuwachi, armed with AK 47s, forcing their way into the Charlie Hebdo build. I had seen a similar incident on December 16th at NYU Library. Seven terrorists had entered a Pakistan army school and killed over 130 school children, including five year old Kola. My whole body quivered and my heart dropped. And I hope with all my heart that the perpetrators were not Muslim this time. After all, I am a Muslim. However, not 10 seconds later, I heard Allahu Akbar. My heart broke into a million pieces. The security guard, who was still stalking my dad, looked at him and asked, What does that mean? Dad explained, Allahu Akbar used to mean God is great. However, today it means violence blood and terrors. It means I'm about to fire a rocket from Gaza to Israel to kill innocent people. It means I'm about to use hijacked planes to fly into the Twin Towers. It means I'm about to kill hundreds of school children. It means I'm about to kill journalists. The Kuwati brothers coup my dad right. They started shooting while shouting Allahu Akbar and they killed nine journalists who were attending a meeting as well as Ahmed Merabit, a Muslim police officer. When I saw them shooting innocent people, I cried out loud. Tears trickled from my disbelieving eyes. Thought, Kwatsi brothers, you are not Muslims. You are not human beings. You are animals. You are disgusting bastards. On my way back to New York later that day, I kept asking my dad one question. What lesson did the brothers hope to teach France by killing its journalists? What was it that they hoped the French would learn from this terrorist? How could they kill journalists for making jokes about the Prophet Muhammad? Dad became emotional. Kwachi brothers, you kill journalists to make Allah happy? You just made him look bad. You killed them to make the Prophet happy? You made him look worse. You killed them to force France to respect Islam? You just killed 1.8 billion Muslims. You wanted to kill the freedom of speech? You made me Charlie Hebdo. Yes, now I am Charlie Hebdo, although I was once its killed. I asked my dad, do Charlie Hebdo cartoons present the truth about the prophet? No. Should we be angry? Absolutely not. Peaceful Muslims should understand that so-called jihadists unleashed a terrible evil against Islam by killing the Charlie Hebdo journalists, Jewish shoppers, and French police. And hence, Muslims should unite to <coughs> identify the growing jihadist tumor and to unleash education as a means of eradicating this tumor. If they unite, maybe they can convince the bad Muslims, especially those who have been raised to be religious fanatics, to understand that there is more to life than religion. Mathematics and science, for example. 
The exaltation of Abu Salah, famous Muslim Nobel laureate, is appropriate. Good Muslims of the world, let's unite to unleash education to defeat the Muslim terrorists before it's too late. And since chapter 4 is right here, that's where we will end it for today. Thank you everybody for watching and we will see you next time with chapter 4 and the physics lecture number 16. To Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.